So we're going to do three quick videos to just review some of the tips and tricks you might need in order to be great at taking a derivative. So the first one is that sometimes you need to simplify first. So we took a look before at taking the derivative of polynomial functions, but they were always written in the form of a coefficient, a polynomial, an exponent, plus or minus another coefficient polynomial uh, style. So if you are given a function and you have to apply the distributive property, you might want to do that because you can easily take the derivative of 3x plus 6, but it's a little harder because you don't know the rule for taking the derivative of this first example. So if you think about it, the derivative of a linear function, because this has a constant rate of change, should be a constant. And in example 2 here, again, we're not sure how to take the derivative of this function g of x because we have brackets involved. So if we simplify to remove the brackets and then we take the derivative, so g prime at x, would be equal to negative 8x minus 28, and that is tip number one.